So, hello everyone. Um, I've got a Reddit story here. It's relationship advice. Mm. So, yes. Yeah, so, let's see what this Do is. Do you need more tea? Uh, yeah, a small top pot would be lovely. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, so I, 26 male, can't decide how to approach asking my wife, 25 female, if she can go to work part-time in the future. Oh. Initial thoughts? Well, I'm assuming perhaps she's been on maternity? Yeah, there's probably children. Yeah. Um, and But money's tight. Yeah. This day and age, in this economy, both mm -hmm. parents really do need to work, don't they? So yep. it is a difficult one. But also, like... <sighs> or if she's just freeloading and there aren't any kids, then yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, from my point of view, just from that title, they're married. They should be able to talk about... Yeah. Everything yeah. and anything. Mm -hmm. Um, really. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll we'll see we'll see what he says. So we got married when she was pregnant. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When we were eighteen and nineteen. Baby born like two months after marriage. When we got married it was agreed she'd never need to work and I'd be the breadwinner. Oh. Times change though. Yeah. And you have to, you know. So she... it's been what, six six seven years so well yeah um she never pictured herself as anything other than a stay-at-home mum mm. i agreed to it no pressure i wanted her to be happy but it shouldn't be like to the detriment to of the detriment of the family yeah you know it's it's difficult isn't it but it's seven years later and I'm so tired. Aww. Oh, bless him. I work 50 to 60 hours a week and I'm lonely and I don't get to see the kids or my wife very much. I haven't seen my friends in several years. I do my share of the chores and childcare and she gets alone time. What? 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 This isn't, you know. That's not a traditional marriage then. No. Why is he doing chores if she's staying at home all the time? And if, yeah, and working 50 to 60 hours a week. God, no, I mean, no wonder he's knackered. Bless him. Oh, needs a well, hug. He does. Virtual hugs to you, mate. <laughs> um, but I feel like I'm really depressed and I really don't enjoy being alive. Oh, no. I don't really get alone time, which I realise is fair because she is 24-7 with the kids. Well, she's not because she's you not, give her alone time. They're school us. age unless she's homeschooling them. Yeah. When I'm not there and, um, yeah, 24-7 with the kids when I'm not there and doesn't get breaks. Maybe she does homeschool then. While at work, I get a lunch break. I don't know why I feel overloaded. Oh, bless you. I would say it's pretty obvious why you feel overloaded. But I don't find life enjoyable at all. Well, I'm... no, because all you no. do is work. Yeah. That's not life. No. And chores. Yeah, you work to live, you don't live to work. Yeah. I love her and the kids and I feel like I'm missing the majority of everyone's lives, including your own, mate, which is yeah. not right. I don't even get to spend time with wife at night when the kids are asleep because I catch up chores after work and she's tired and tries to stay up until we have time, but she usually falls asleep. Oh, Jesus Christ. Those chores should be done by the time he gets home. He shouldn't be having to do them. I know, I know how difficult it is trying to get all the housework done when you've got little kids yeah. running around. It is difficult. But if your husband is working 50, 60 hours a week, he doesn't do chores as well. No. Unless you're working too. Yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it is tiring being a stay-at-home mum. It is. It really is. And I, you know, I home educate my girls. Yeah. And I love it. Mm -hmm. Um... And some days, yeah, I can't fit in all the chores, but yeah. I wake up the next day and they're still there. I'd never expect my fella to do it when he gets home from work yeah. after like an 11 hour day. Yeah. You know, it's ridiculous. I do... She takes the biscuit, mate. That's my relationship advice. You Problem need, is he's to... let her. Well, yeah, obviously they got... For seven years. I mean, getting married on the pre premise that he'd be the breadwinner is one thing. Yeah. But for him to be the breadwinner and literally just cater for her needs. Yeah. It's, it's sad. It's really sad. I, I couldn't as, like, <clears throat> in her Surely shoes... Surely she must see how depressed he is. Well, you'd think so. I'd know if my father I was know miserable. when mine's down. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, 
They were very young when they got married as well, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, 18, 19. Mm. Like today, I've been incredibly sad because she and the kids went on a five-day vacation back to Florida with her parents and I couldn't go because of work. Well, I'm assuming he's in the States. Yeah. They do have some terrible employment laws. Right, yeah. They, they're not entitled to paid holiday in a lot of companies. You have to, like, negotiate and stuff. Wow. Yeah, it's really bad. I understand <sighs> sacrifices need to be made, but I am getting really depressed to miss all the fun stuff and pay for it. I do the mm. responsibilities, but I want to get to enjoy my family too. Of course you do, mate. That's, that's you know, that's wow. kind of the point in having one, isn't yeah. it? To all grow together and... Mm -hmm. I don't know, this is really sad. It is really sad. I realise I signed up for it, but I didn't realise how I would be feeling so long down the road. Yeah, it's taken him six, seven years to get to this, bless him. To burn out, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, since our youngest is just a baby, it will be years before I can realistically even bring it up. Should, But should I ever, I was hoping before she got pregnant to talk to her this year, since the older two, seven male and five female, are in school activities, and well, she has free time during the day, but then the baby, two uh, months male, bugger. was conceived so obviously i wasn't going to ask her to work then or now until the baby is older but maybe it would make me a shitty person to go back on my word and ask if i can work less if she can work part-time if she worked two days a week i could drop one of my overtime days and spend time at home oh, do you think if i offered to take over more of the cleaning no no don't do that this would be an okay thing to ask has anyone gone from breadwinner to stay at home to both parents working at least a little? We've separated once because of my behaviour. And I don't want her to leave again. Okay, that's ambiguous. What behaviour what, what yeah. behavior are we talking about? They probably all got on top of him and he snapped at her or something. Yeah. So after seven years, I can't stop thinking about working less, but I promised my wife she could stay at home with the kids and we can't afford to cut my hours unless she works some. I don't know if I should approach it at all and how to say it if I do. If you don't approach it at all, it's just going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. Yeah. Obviously, if baby's two months old, um, I mean, she's probably breastfeeding and, and work and stuff is, mm -hmm. is probably going to be a bit difficult now. Yeah. But um, I certainly don't think you should be doing any chores. But no. when baby goes, like, to... Well, it depends on what your plans are, nursery, Nurseries school. Nurseries. Or even if it's, well, I think you know. it's schools a few but years when, off, Yeah, it? when when baby goes into childcare, yeah. um, like the natural progression, then I certainly feel like you should be able to have that conversation. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he said, edit, bless him. This is sweet. Just to clarify, my wife is not cruel or uncaring and she wouldn't want me to be miserable. No, but she hasn't noticed that you're miserable, are you? Yeah. She doesn't know quite how unhappy I am. She doesn't use me. Her only big flaw is she tends to be a bit oblivious and happy-go-lucky. <laughs> and very selfish. A bit oblivious. I'm sorry, she's selfish to have you go out and do that much work and then come home and do chores. Yeah. It's a wonder you had time to conceive the third child. Really. <laughs> or the inclination. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, my advice really obviously having the two month old like I just said but it makes it difficult I think to go out to work well it does but I think he should sit down with her now explain yes, how, absolutely. how depressed he's been and just say in like in the future when baby is a bit older yeah. could, could we rearrange things because yeah. I can't like if he has an end goal yeah you know and um well absolutely and then set it up now so it's less of a shock. Yeah, yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. So that you know it's coming. But he needs to tell her. You need to tell her yeah. like, how you feel. Mm -hmm. um, I can't dream of being that sad and not being able to confide in my partner. No, and just wallowing in self-pity is the worst thing yeah, that anyone lesson. can do. And this is the reason that male suicide rate is so high. Yeah. One of them. Yeah, there's too many expectations. Okay, right, so let's read a comment. Yeah. Um, 
okay, I feel like you're a kettle about to boil over, which yeah. means this is a conversation you need to have. Yeah. Absolutely. Sit her down and basically tell her you feel that the dynamic and circumstances have changed and that you can't go on like this. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Explain you feel you never see them anymore and having to miss out on a vacation and work when your kids are so young is not good for anyone. Mm. No, because these, you know, make memories. The kids will have no memories with him. No. Because he's just at work all the time. But they're not going to grow up recognising potentially that it was because daddy had to work. It might, daddy wasn't there. (sighs) Why is daddy not in any of the pictures from our vacations? Yeah, Mm. poor daddy. Explain you feel you never see them anymore and having... Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, Try and compromise that when the youngest is six months, you look into childcare and that way she can work and you can cut down on your hours so that you all get to spend more time together. Hopefully she'll be on board and you'll eventually find everyone is happier. At the minute, I mean, I kind of like... I don't know, six months, I think it's so young for childcare. It is, yeah. I, I... Personally, I think one of the parents needs to be at home. Um, it's, um, yeah, it is too young, in, in I mean, my opinion. To me, that would be the only compromise there, really, is if he stays at home for a few hours a week so that she can go to work and then he gets, you know, yeah, um, some time. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, someone else... Oh, here we go. OP said... I don't know if I'm a kettle, but I'm very depressed, I think. I'm happy to support my family, but I didn't know that I'd be so cut off from them. And it's worse as they get older. I'm missing t-ball and ballet stuff. And the kids are liking me a lot less now because I don't come to their stuff. (sighs) I know it's selfish. No, it's not. (laughs) No, self-preservation. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm super worried I'll be going back on my word and she'll leave me again. If that's how insecure you feel in your relationship, then you really do need to have a long talk. Mm-hmm. You know, because if, if any relationship that hangs on, I can't express myself or you'll leave, mm. is not that's not a loving relationship. No. And you're not truly valued in that relationship. No. So that's questionable. If yeah. she leaves, she'll have to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or he'll have to fund his own life as well as theirs. Yeah, alimony. Yeah. It's sick, isn't it? Alimony and child support. That'll kill him. Yeah. This is the thing. He feels backed into a corner. Yeah. um, And he's even gone out of his way to say, you know, she's she's not... um, She's not mean. She's not mean or cruel. But... um, No, but... uh, Like... I think, it's, I think where... it's mean to have your fella go out to work for all those hours and then expect him to do chores when he gets home. Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, while I go and fall asleep. Yeah, because I'm exhausted from watching Teletubbies all day. I'm not suggesting that's what she does. but No, a two-month-old isn't that much work, though. As someone who's been there. Yeah, been there twice. It, I mean... Yeah. Um, the, it... the older kids are at school all day. It's just her and the baby. I mean, I think the first month, yeah, that's really, really hard. Yeah. Um, Yeah, but you settled into a routine by now. Yeah. You know? So, um, someone said, you are not selfish for wanting to be with your family. Nope. There's something deleted there. Uh, And then someone else has repeated that and said, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I would bet... Your ask will come with some resistance. If no other reason than this is what has been made comfortable and normalised, your needing change, regardless of the ask, will be pushed back on. However, explain yourself because how you feel and what you need should not be dismissed by a good partner and parent. Absolutely. Yeah. She should want your happiness, partnership and engaged parenting. Yep. Mm -hmm. Seek counselling together if necessary. I would also bet if when you can get to that point together, it will be beneficial to both of you. Yeah. Maybe approach it with asking about her long-term goals. I personally can't comprehend staying at home forever, but I have fulfilment from my work that gives me purpose. Hopefully she can find something similar in a part-time scale. Yeah. Yeah. It's, It's, I just, this, that's what really gets me is that feeling like you can't express yourself. Yeah, it's like he's walking on eggshells. Yeah. Because she left him before. Yeah. Yeah. Bless him. 
I do hope it works out for you though, mate. I really yeah. do. Um, a couple more comments. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, because OP has commented on these. Okay, so first of all, go to your doctor and ask for help. Yeah. Second, write down how you're feeling and what you want to say to your wife. I'd make it less about I want you to get a job and more I feel burnt out and I need to find some balance. Yeah, give her the yeah. opportunity to offer. I don't think she will. Well, that's that just shows, you know, the kind of person yeah. that you're married to, really. Yeah. I want to spend time with our family, but the number of hours I'm working made it impo- make it impossible and the kids resent it. Yeah, value, value yeah. point. Would it be possible for you to look at getting a part-time job for a while so I can drop a day or two, spend more time with our children and pick up some tasks at home? Mm. Good luck, OP. Rock and hard place, but you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. And then OP said, I am on medication for my mental health issues. I think if I frame it as wanting to do more around the house, that will help. No. But again, Please you can't, don't. You can't jump from the frying pan into the fire. Yeah. Because then you can, I mean, you can busy yourself with chores and still you're not spending time yeah, with your children. Yeah, exactly. If you're doing stuff in the house, then you're not doing what you want to be doing, which is spending time with your family. Yeah. You know? Someone said, keep this one honest. You want to spend time with the family that you work so hard to support. There is nothing wrong or sh- selfish or shameful or not manly about wanting to be with your family. Yeah. I want to do more around the house. Ignores your actual needs. Exactly. That's yeah, what they're saying. Yeah, don't lie. Don't lie. Yeah. So OP said to that, yeah, I have a really hard time expressing my feelings. I really need to work on it. <sighs> yeah. You do, mate. That's yeah. That's all I can say on that. That's mm-hmm. my true advice is... And if you can't express yourself in a relationship, then, you know... That's doomed. The relationship is not going to thrive. Yeah. Really? I don't know. Poor chap. Yeah, that's really sad. We are not here to take advantage of one another. And I just feel like he's very, like, he's very taken no, for granted. it's a partnership, isn't it? And she should be bigging him up to to the kids so that they don't resent him and say poor daddy couldn't come to ballet. Yeah. You know, couldn't come to this, that or the other because he has to work to support us. He works really hard and that, sh- you know, that should be driven um, as a message to the children so that they recognise it. Yeah. I spilled my tea. No. Well, this OP has actually posted a lot of other things. Okay. Um... They've separated. Ah. Yeah. Well, I can't sound surprised. Yeah. And actually, I think as long as you don't get um, raped by the judicial system. Um, oh, dear. He should hopefully... He put, he put one in the domestic violence subreddit. Ah. Um, right. Okay. I wasn't going to post here anymore because I didn't want to upset anyone because... This is much more minor than the abuse everyone else is going through. But I'm so upset and I don't know where I can safely post this with people who can tell me if this is accurate or not. Is it my fault if she attacks me and I don't stop it because I don't want to hurt her? Oh, crap. Real victim this. I saw oh, it. You man. can just... I'm much bigger, but I'm unwilling to push her or hit her back. That's just an escalation, I feel. Like, that would make me the abuser. And I don't think I could make myself do it anyway. I never want to hurt women or kids. I'm not a violent person by nature, honestly. Even with how bad and violent my parents were to me and each other. And even when I was an addict as a teen. So I feel like I can try and uh, block. But it would be immoral and I cannot picture myself even risking hurting her to protect myself. If she's got me blocked in a room, I feel like I have no options. But if people tell me that's my fault and I'm letting it happen, are they right? I can't think of a way to get away that wouldn't involve a risk of knocking her down or harming her. So I feel like it's not fair to blame me. I'm just trying to be a good guy and I'm just not aggressive. I've never even hit a grown man, never been in a fight. I've always avoided it. I'm very upset because I don't know how to get out of this. People are also telling me it would be a bad decision to try and remove the kids because she's violent. Uh, Because she's not hurt them, it's all directed at me and she can't actually hurt me. I don't feel like that's true because I read that people who harm their spouses often harm the kids. 
So I'm wrong if I'm worried about my kids. No. I'm not going to leave anymore. I'm just sticking it out because if I lose custody, I can't guarantee the kids are safe as much as I can. I don't know. I feel so guilty and I don't know the right thing to do. Edit also post on r slash divorce. Yeah. Oh, wow. Poor chap. God. Yeah, and he's also posted in r slash divorce with the title, Could I Get in Trouble If I Took the Kids and Left? Um, kind of needs some evidence. <sighs> Jeez. Really? Mm. Because, yeah, domestic violence is a real issue and I think people forget yeah. that men can be victims of this. Wow, he put in another one, <laughs> slash r slash adult survivors. Um, I snapped last night. I cannot keep up with my wife's rules for sex. It's too much for me. I'm trying to heal from sexual abuse that started when I was a little baby until I was a teen. Oh my God, this poor guy. He's been through it. Yeah. It's, it's really sad when the abused, like, they choose abusers all through. Yeah. And then she's um, shaming him for not being able to have sex as well. <gasps> yeah. Mm. Poor guy. Well, that and she considered that that might it? be her fault because she's not a nice person, <sighs> and because she's an abuser. Has she ever considered that? Well, I'm glad they separated, but yeah, me God, too. I don't. Oh man. Well, I hope that his life is going to take a better yeah, turn. Yeah, well, his last post was only a few days ago, so. Oh my lord! <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! So we had a happy ending earlier, and now and now a sad one. Well, an yeah. ongoing situation that seems yeah. a lot worse than we initially thought. Wow! Gosh! Bless him. Yeah. 